Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you've had yourself a good Christmas. Sorry I didn't see you last week. I had a lot of stuff going on, so we just weren't able to get to it. But 
I hope everybody's Christmas went well. If you keep up on me on Facebook, Instagram, you saw I've been pretty busy with the uh, aircraft. And uh, on the other side note here, as you can see, I've got an upgraded camera. So my wife gave me a nice, beautiful camera so you can see me a little bit better. I got a new camera for up here to where you can see the colors better. And you should be able to see some of the line work better on this. So it's actually turned out pretty well. So let me see if I can uh, we'll pop that up. We'll stick with the music we got right now. So anyway, as you come in, tell me how you're doing, what you guys been up to, and we're going to get started. Uh, today, I'm showing you some of the new stuff like with the, with the camera and how well it shows. So you should be able to see prints a whole lot better now than the old camera that I have for up here. And of course, my new webcam, I'm not so jumpy anymore on, on it. So, but this is how far we've gotten so far. We got the hot chocolate. We started working on the background on that piece. Um, this is a piece I did off scene with my daughter and stuff we were working on. So we still got some color pencil stuff to do with that right now. Of course, we did our little drummer boy. So you should be able to see him a lot better with the new camera. And of course, the pencil sketch that we did of uh, Santa and his reindeer. But we have a request to do, or actually to show how to do some drawings of children's illustrations, which is basically stuff you'd see in the children's illustration books. Uh, you know, where they have like adults, they look like kids still. And kind of keep it a Christmas theme, like Christmas, different, different Christmas scenes and stuff. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have a tour we can work along with it. So I'm gonna get my little glove on. And what we need to do is we'll probably do a little, we might, we might use this page as a little bit of warm up, test out the new screen and everything. See how that goes. I pat myself down the bottom left right now, but I, I might put it back over to the other side. I haven't decided yet. So we shall see how this plays out. But actually, let me uh, move this over that way a little bit more. Okay, it looks like we got a pretty good view with that. It's got a new autofocus, so it might need to have a little bit of stuff put on it. So anyhow, let's see here. We've got a couple of references, some children's illustration stuff. We're going to do a little bit of warm-ups and whatnot. The children's illustrations look pretty simple. You know, of course you have a simple little circle for the, for the person's head. And let's see here. We'll get some of the structure laid out. So we'll do the crosshairs. So that way you can get it for the face and the eyes. Basically how we're going to have the face cornered with that. And we can do some simple basic shapes. We have, we still want to follow anatomy, but it's going to be very simplified. So we're just basically getting a little body portion. This is just a warm-up piece. So, and of course we should see, it looks like I can actually see on my screen that the pencil looks like it's coming a little bit better. If so or not, we can also, I should be able to now zoom it in with this new one. So let me do that and zoom it in and see. That might keep it even a little bit better for you without me having to put it down in front of my face. So, let's see here. So we'll do that. We'll we'll show. Uh, let's see here. Let's get a little bit of area for how we're going to do the arms. We still want to do little circle areas for the joints for showing the arms. And let's see here. Let's uh, do little leg areas. Oh, Robert, thank you for liking the stream, brother. But yeah, today we're going to do some, uh, some little, some children's illustration for a request. So just, there's not much to these. They're very simplified, but you still want to use, um, like I said, you still want to have a net good anatomy for everything. So, zoom in, and I can see it better. I already zoomed it in. It's already zoomed in. But anyway, this is just a little practice piece. I mean, I guess I could put it. Let's see if I can put this down a little bit. It's, it's fuzzing right now because it's trying to find something to focus on. So as soon as it as soon as soon it sees this, so I can put it in there and it should zoom in and then see how it, it should start to focus on it. Let me see if I can get it to reacquire. There we go. New camera, new stuff to play with. So, but anyway, we're just doing, this is just a little warm-up practice that I'm doing first right now. And then we'll get to actually doing a, a drawing piece. So, but... You still want to use your anatomy, but it's going to be very simplified. So instead of doing a rib cage, you just do the whole body 
basically with it. So we're going to put it that way. Children's illustrations, it's even a bit, even adults look like children in it also, which is another thing to it. So, you got your basic, this is what you want to do. You want to get your basic shape for this laid out first. And you can, let's see here, we'll run. The eyes are very simplistic as well, but you still want to place them evenly apart. And we have. And we basically have nose. Sorry, my, some of my stuff is moving around. And a little mouth will do. So, doesn't look like much still right now because it's just something very basic on it. Now we'll start putting some little pieces on, like the cheek. You want to show structure for the cheek. And of course, you want to give them a cranium. You don't want them to have no, not no head. Very, all the children's illustration stuff are typically very soft feeling. So, and of course, as you can see, I don't have the eyes lined up correctly. Let me grab my, because I did a quick swipe. So let's actually do it more like this, and then run it across. So then we'll put the eyes down here. See how that looks a whole lot better now. And of course, the ear will be right about here. Like I said, we're just blocking everything in, so it doesn't have to have really too much layouts for it right now. But this is the type of children's illustration that you do. It's just nice and smooth. So, that way I can see my chat screens. <laughs> Kind of going to be a simple little Christmas one, so we'll stick with the Christmas theme. So. All right, and we've got, we've got to give him a neck, so we'll clean this up, give him a little neck. And this is just a warm-up sketch, so we're not really going to stick too long on this. We're just going to kind of play around with it a little bit, just to kind of get the idea of what we're looking for. We're actually going to do another type of drawing. Give him, give him his, his belly. want to show that he's got some depth to him, so we're going to run his shoulder up and down. So, so that's what we can, that's basically what this will be. We do that, we can get stripes also you want to make sure the stripes match the way his body actually moves too. So give him a little stripe, give him a we'll give him a, a pajama onesie. So. so anyway, we got that. The eyes are very very simple and they're usually bright eyed looking. So I'm gonna do it that way. We'll run this. And we can give him a little Little shine. So, simple little warm up sketch. Circles and whatnot. We'll put this aside and let's work on a real good piece now. Grab another page. Do that. Alright. Now, let's map out. We'll do Mary and Joseph. This is where this one's going to be for. Uh, and we're going to map the whole thing out first, so we're going to basically going to lay it out. And what we'll do is we'll do a nice big circle. And we'll start with, we'll give him the head tilt, give it a slight head tilt, not too much. And just a little bit off, so this will have a little bit more than the other side, ever so slightly. So. Then you basically are going to give a, show a little bit of the chin. You're not going to see most of this, but you still want to map it to where that way you can, you, everything else will fall into place. So, 
circle. All right, Frontier Man, watching. How you doing? So, we got the circle. We got the basic area the way the face is going to be. You can too do little dash marks where you can make sure your eyes are lined up. This one being it's got a little bit more, we want to bring that over a tiny bit, and we're going to probably bring this over a tiny bit more to where it ends up lining up nicely. So. Alright. And what we'll do is we'll little neck. And we want to basically this will be pardon me. This will be Mary. This is gonna be the body that we're gonna have. Oh Brad, thank you for liking the stream. Thanks, brother. And we're gonna do hips here. We're gonna have her right now, so we're gonna do hips. And we're just basically gonna run a body, a simple body, because it's children illustration. So it's not gonna be like anime manga where it's gonna be really or, or or comic book style where it's gonna have a lot of high detail in it and stuff. It's not gonna look um, it's not gonna look like that. So we won't have a lot of high detail like that in it. So it'll look more uh, if you are anime or manga it'd be more chibi like. So we have that. And of course this is the spine. This line that I did is basically the spine area and it goes down to the hip area. So if, if you want to have an area for which way the, the front of the body is going to be facing, it will be that. So I'll go ahead and I'll clean it up so you can see how the body is going to move. Because the legs, the way they attach on each side, are going to be down here on the sides where the hips are. So, and we're just going to do a simple line. Let's see how everything lays out. Like I said, you want to still remember anatomy, you know, for dimensions. Do this will be the foot here, so we'll do a ball for the foot. That'll be the knee. And this one will come down a little bit because the way this one overhangs. So you want to do a little bit that way. And then this foot will go that way because she's going to be, she's riding side saddle on the donkey for Mary and Joseph. So we're basically going to get this laid out. And of course, you want to have a line for the shoulder. The hips are going this way. The shoulder's going that way. It's always good for dynamic symmetry where you have, when you do figure drawing stuff, there's always a type of good movement to it when you have the shoulder blades or the shoulder line is facing one area and the hips are just counter, basically countered the other side. It kind of provides a little bit of good movement to it. It has a little bit of appeal to it. So it doesn't feel like it's just like you're, like a, it doesn't feel so much like a puppet. So do some shoulder areas where we're going to put the shoulders and we're going to have her lap down there so we're going to do one line that way and we're going to put this way and we're going to put a hand here so we're just all this so far you can see your lines better than last time yeah the new camera is actually working out really well especially with the focus on it it's starting to actually, it actually I'll probably have to tweak it a little bit but it's focusing pretty well and let's see we're going to put this one down over here as well because we're going to have her hands, her hands are going to be basically holding. This one will have a foreshortening. That's the reason why it's only that long and not that long to match that because of the way it's sitting at an angle. So, we got her. And, of course, we want to do a little spot to show how the feet are going to run. They can look like cheese wedges if you want to think of it that way, like a little block of cheese for, for which shape you want to have it go through. Nice simple thing, you'll have that, you'll have that, and the mouth will be there. So we got one body laid out. She's actually going to be riding on a donkey, so what we're going to do is we got to do the donkey now. The donkey, even though it's a child's one, it's going to still want to try and have anatomy, so if you don't know what a donkey looks like, it's always good to have reference pictures of animals and whatnot, but we're going to have the donkey. This is going to be the front portion, basically the part, chest part, and she's going to have the small area there, and she's going to have the back hip area. So that's going to be our connection point. So, and then of course you'll have the way this is moving us, and the way the donkey is. You're going to have the front of the neck, the way it goes up. And this is going to be the head area right here. So you just you're going to take this. This will run up. 
just so you get basic connections of it. Uh, donkey has a little snout, so we'll put the snout down there. It's going to be another circle. Okay, and then you're going to you want to see the way the eyes are going to run. So the, the, the donkey's kind of looking down a little bit, so the eyes are going to have a slight curl like this on the front of the face. So that, that this will be the center point. So map, by mapping it out, you're able to see where you want to put the eyes of the donkey. And of course, you also want to get the ears laid out. So you have an ear spot there, curls over to the other side. And for right now, you can, instead of trying to make the donkey ears look too much, you just kind of get the basic area. It looks like, it almost looks like a diamond. So, and you basically just kind of feel it out for the height on it, and if it's too short or too tall, you erase it and kind of work through, or you can just kind of do a little bit further up till you get the height that you want on it. And once you find that out, figure that out, and it feels right by looking at it, then you can basically continue on. Not too bad. So, got some little donkeys behind here. And now that we got this, we want to do the legs as well with that. So we'll probably put the don one long donkey leg coming this way. And then from this side, we'll have another don the other leg that way. And it's going to be kind of walking the way it's walking with it now. There we are. It's going to look a little, probably a little staggering stuff because it's actually a little donkey. And we have the way that the back hind legs they go back first and then they go in from that joint forward to the foot so like I said it doesn't look like much but it will as we keep working with it so from here you have a you'll have your leg with the top portion of the hind legs that run in and then from here it goes up to that same area that circle that we already had for the back hip area so by doing that you already have the layout of the grid work for how that's going to be. That way you can just run this down. And one thing that also works out is you'll see, um, I'll grab this. When you do drawings, if you kind of do stuff like this and that where it, they come together like if you're trying to draw arms, you'll notice that an arm on a person, and forgive the crudeness on this, this is just going to be quick. You have your shoulder blade, you'll have a tricep, area, you have the bicep, you have the lower part of your tricep, you have the, the, um, your elbow, you have the front portion of your forearm, your back portion, and then here to your wrist. So this is just a quick basic layout of it, but you'll notice that when you look at the arm, the arm has a curve that runs here, and then this curve runs this way. You have a little curve here and then this curve here, and this curve there. It doesn't go like this, where if you do like that toward the to each other, it doesn't, it kind of makes it look flat, it doesn't look smoother, it doesn't look dynamic. When you look at any type of art and you look at things, you'll see that they always have a type of curvature to them, where they actually kind of back and forth, and it's just a part of it. So you'll see how that, how that plays out, like with this. Like you'll have this area here, this curve, and then you can see this curve for the, the actual the way it curves through, because this will go to the front where the front hoof will be. So, and just like this curve, we'll run up to this one. Okay, let's see here. This runs up to there, and of course we got a little bit of a knuckle for that. see most of that but that's going to be the further that one leg we have this curl this curve here and then this one see how it curves out and then down so this curves down to here for the other portion of it all right so we got mary 
now we need Joseph. But we don't want Joseph to look like he's way off to the side here. This is why you map everything out and you basically, you, you're going to make sure you have it because he's hold, actually holding on to the donkey reins. Uh, he's actually the one that's, that's guiding the donkey. So we'll put a little, we'll do a little rope. That'll be what we're going to do the attaching point. So, so he's up here. So he's going to, his head's only going to be up to this height. So you don't want him to be up there because he's not a giant. So we'll probably run him over about here somewhere. Let's see about putting a circle over here. And he's going to be just doing his, he's walking along, carrying that donkey. So we'll put him like that. We want to put his arm, the way his arms are going to be, he's going to have, this one's going to be pulling, so it's going to be slightly lower than this one because of his walking cane. So we're going to do that, we're going to give him his simple thing, got the, got the main body portion, and we got the hip portion. So it's basically an oval, or an egg if you want to think of it that way. You can do an egg also. And then you basically have like a small, like a kind of a flattened circle. Alright, and he's going to be walking as well. So we're going to have him pointing more down the same direction as this. We might actually move him over this way a little bit more. Is what we'll do. Look like he's following the same path. And he's going to have his neck. His ear. Okay, about his eye line up, nose and mouth. And we're going to put shoulder one. And then we'll do the other shoulder, will be slightly raised. So this one is actually going to have, let's see, do we want his arm down or up? We probably want it up. So his arm's going to be actually out like that. Abdomen area, arms always hang down, the elbows will hang down just past the rib cage. So if you point look at that, you can always do a little reference area that way. And then we'll have another one there. So that way we have him lined up. So, and we will do just a quick area so you can kind of get an idea of like a path that we're following along with. see we need if he's walking we're gonna want this leg coming forward so this is this is going to be more this way so this the way this hips going to be turned so we're gonna have more of a leg here and that legs gonna be facing back the way he's walk, gonna be walking because this hands back and we're gonna have the arm forward with the walking stick But it's on fire six 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 now following. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Or sister. I guess your sister could have her butt on fire. Ah, oh, your butt is on fire, huh? <laughs> that is a cute tag. Very cool. Let's see. Alright, we're working on the days. We're doing some children illustration stuff as a request. Somebody's wanting to see how they you map that out. So, but thank you for following the channel. I appreciate it very much. So, all right, do this way. We want to kind of get there to there because we're going to have the cane, or his nice cane, but a walking staff is going to sort of be like this over here. So we'll kind of put it that way. We might bring it in a tiny bit more. So, and of course we'll. Got the main part of the hip. We got one, one leg that way, and he's gonna have. It's only gonna be. It's kind of extended out, so it's not really gonna have too much of a bend to it. And of course, we'll have down here, and we'll have his him walking. We might actually have his foot up a little bit. We'll, we'll play with that. We want to make it toward you. You're not gonna see too much of his legs on it because they actually have like a, a full, like a full robe that they wear, which was the, the garb for it. So, so we'll do it that way. Run this one this way, and we'll give, give it that. This one we're probably going to want to put down like he's actually stepping down on it more. 
All right, so we kind of have the basic layout. Now we can go back and we can start adding in the details we want with it. So, and like I said, the details on these, it's very simplistic. So, because it's children illustration, it's not anime, not manga. So we have, we want to find the hairline as well for this. So we'll put the hairline probably right about there, the way the head goes around. And we got the ear, you know, we're probably not gonna see because Mary had a, um, a hood, like a sh I think it's called a shawl. Or over your head. So, anyhow, we're going to have it to where that's going to wrap. And let's see if we can run this guy up. Because now we're going to try and drape some of the clothing and stuff over the body figure that we mapped. About it that they have hair. she has hair underneath there so it's going to have a little bit of it's going to be going above the cranium so it's going to be above the circle that we had as a guide so here you're going to just sort of wrap the shoulder around it's going to kind of flow down and then that's why we have here it's going to the arm's going to come out from underneath the shawl so we'll have this portion here will be the arm so as we start to build it up so it had one that goes this way, and kind of folds down and kind of rolls around the back. So we'll run it that way. And of course we'll have to have the way the shawl falls. Past the shoulders we'll have it kind of flowing. And the way, the way clothing ripples and stuff, the way it curls, it'll have areas like this that'll up. You'll have different little areas as the, as the fabric is blowing but moving. Okay. Alrighty. And of course we got the hair. We got to do this little bit of hair. It's sort of almost like Charlie Brown, like the Peanuts cart comics. Those are sort of, those have the, that child, that, that children's illustration type feel. So, that's what we mean by that. I mean, literally the eyes are typically little circles. And little, that's all it is. It's got a little circle for the eyes. Or it's more like a vertical oval. Got a little bit of it for the top eyelid that you'll see. And then it's Mary, you can give her little eyebrow, eyelashes. Like I said, this is very simple, but it's it's really nice to do. Because you can focus, it's not so much focusing on all the detail and shading and stuff, it's more just focusing on getting the person the look that you want. So, and something simple as that, like right here, the, the, that eyebrow on this side, if you don't give it that little curl to it and you make it flat, she looks more angry than she is just kind of content. Basic shapes. This is all you need, like a little tiny triangle just to show a little bit of shading for the nose. This is all you need for that. And we'll give her a little smile. Give her a little bit of a flip bottom part there. That's all you need. You can clean as you go work along through here. You can clean up some of your construction lines as you keep going through. So, you want to put this way because your head's tilted a little bit. Start to define the cheek, the cheekbone. And they don't have like, it's and like in anime, they usually have like a little bit of a point to their to their chin or the bottom of the base of their, their chin and stuff. These typically are a little bit softer. Like I said, it's almost like there's they try not to have like any sharp sharp angle angles or edges and stuff on it. So there we go. Clean 
you can be with these are nice because they you can have a little bit of sketch you can have that that sketchy feel to it it doesn't have to have all perfectly clean lines they usually look a little bit a little bit rough anyway which isn't bad and of course the top of it that's coming forward over the front you'll have a little bit of a peak at the top of the head the way it comes down to make it look like it's actually sitting on top of it. They said you're not going to see too much of our construction because it's, they, they kind of have a little bit of bagginess, but it's important that you do map all of that so that way you know how the clothes will lay. Will lay. And their hands, I know everybody has, has difficulty with hands. They're very soft, kind of puffy almost like. Like the fingers aren't like, they're, they're not really like point where you can see all the little which the joints in it and which knuckles they're they're going to be very very simplistic like, so like here's a thumb and we'll curl it around and just by simply doing that little interlocking thing where it looks like her fingers are interlocking here I'll put this up to the camera a little bit closer so you can see but as you can see just a simple thing there where it looks like just that line back and forth where he shows look like showing the first knuckle, it looks like your hands are actually are actually interlocking. Like you can see the basic of it, that it kinda this one and then this one, but it's very simpl simplified, very simplistic. So we can clean up some of the some of the sketch lines. And if you clean up some of the lines that you already put down, don't worry about it. You just go back over it again. You don't have to draw really hard make dark lines. I, I'm drawing a little bit harder than I usually would because that way you guys can actually see it. So, but for your own personal drawing, don't worry about it. So, and of course she's got a shawl as well, so we're going to remove probably some of that just to kind of get this long type dress. We'll probably put it that way to show one. And then Right, so she'll have a crease here, like so. Just kind of looking at the basic layouts for everything. By looking at the legs, the sketch lines I did for the legs, so that way you can see like where the kneecap, the knee would run over. And then of course you would do a nice simple piece that comes across this way that shows where she's actually sitting. And of course here, because it's soft and it's loose, it's going to be baggy, so it's not going to follow this line of the arm, the way your arm will go through it. So we can remove that. And of course, you are going to you don't have to do all the folds of the clothing, but you want to show that it still is clothing, that it's sagging. So like it might be running over this way, and then it kind of comes up. So I still follow that line, but I don't have to just tape it to it. pole there, so that'll be one area that'll have a pole for the fabric, and we can start cleaning up some of these lines up here even, just because we won't need to see the ear, and we'll just run it through, and we're basically, all we're doing is we're just kind of giving it, it some of its volume, its weight to it. doesn't quite feel right, erase it and go again. That's the nice thing about this art piece you can keep working on. And of course we'll have to do her neck in here and the rest of her shawl. Or her, her rowberry basically. And we're going to have to show a little bit of shoulder or the 
back side of her arm past the shawl that's draped over. All right. Keep it real simple. Most of this is going to have like the depth and stuff is going to be dealing with the color as well. All right, pal, I'm here late as my work on app and ran out all afternoon to an hour ago, so I decided to work another hour. Big huge bonuses for working 20, 30, 40, depending on me, I work 20 hours, for example. I get paid for 32 hours, so I get 30, I get paid for 46, but they have to have the work to do it. Beautiful drawing. Well, thank you, Brian. I'm glad you're giving you a little bonus area for work and stuff. That's great for an end of the year thing. Help you out. Did you have a good Christmas? Everything go well? We're learning how to draw children's illustration today. So, so we'll have that part there to where it looks like her hands are in the lap. So we didn't need some of that other finger there. lines up underneath there so now you can see the implied area of the, of the legs which is good so you're still going to show a little bit to where it looks like that for the feet coming out from underneath and let's do that and that in so we won't have to make that fully go down but we wanted to make it look like the cloth is actually draping over correctly no, we don't have to make it look so realistic. Still simplify. So it makes those soft little drawing, children's books drawings and stuff look the way they do. That would help big time if you have to work. I got 20 hours in there. I didn't work on Christmas. They announced this deal. Midday on Sunday. Christmas was pretty good. No drama for once. I hope yours is great too. Yes, I had a really good Christmas. It's quiet today in the house though. My girls are out on going up to visit my wife's mom and stepdad and they even have the doggo so it's just me and the little the the little hamster <laughs> so it's quiet in here okay so we got that part now we gotta get the other arm so you can see this circle here for it shows for the elbow point on it and we want to show that the cloth her cloth is actually draping over so we'll do that give a little bit of a drape that way and then this, we're just going to show it kind of sagging down is all we'll do. Bring it out, and then we want it to look like it's going up to catch to the top where the shoulder would be up here. So it's going to hang down that way. That's all you need to do for that. You can close up the rest, of, get rid of the rest of that. They're giving the bonus to some men you're taking off this week. Oh, wow, I hope they enjoy the trip. Oh, you have a hamster now. How's your cat or did your kitty pass away? Yeah, Izzy passed away um, about a year now. It's been a little bit, about a little, about, about a little bit over a year ago. So, but uh, Alana's had two hamsters for forever and a day, and um, one passed away a couple months ago. And she still got Rhino. I thought about bringing him out and maybe having a camera on him call it the rhino cam but we might have to do that maybe for Thursday and play with it that way have a little little animal fun so, but I hope you guys are actually having fun learning how to draw a children's type children's illustration style so very simple very very calming also do you know being you don't you don't have to be so so exact on it. You can kind of fudge it a little bit. You don't have to have the feet, you know, just the right length. You can kind of just do little areas for the toes. So basically, this is the heel and the little bottom, the front part. That's the ball, and there's the front part. And then we'll just throw a couple little circle, little 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 half circles to kind of show she's got some toes on there. at the end so make sure you got one two three four toes and then one big toe 
That is one thing you do have to have. You can't. That that will look a little funny if it don't. <laughs> you gotta make sure you still count the amount of toes. If you give them six, it's gonna look a little off. <laughs> so. But yeah, so far I'm digging the new cameras. So everything seems to be moving pretty nice and smooth on it. So and even that camera that's up front there has a has a ring light to where you can see me a little bit better too, even without even with this. So definitely digging it, liking it. And I like the new overhead light camera. It shows the artwork a lot better on it. So do some really neat stuff coming up. I think Thursday there is an anime called My Dress Up Darling. We might actually do a little inspired. There was a wanting somebody wanting to do an art piece that way. Maybe we'll do a New Year's art piece using one some of the characters for that, like they're celebrating for New Year's. Okay, let's. We got mayor. Oh, we got to do our other foot. It does look good. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm glad. It's looking like you can. I, I'm, I've been hearing like they can. Everybody can see things better on the, the actual art piece pieces and stuff so and I was looking for something that had better color too so the two feet are so close together you do want to make sure that they have a relative size that looks close to it also so that's also the reason why you box them out you do your little cheese wedges is what I call them you know you can do triangles whatever works for it but you want them to kind of look about the same length and stuff, especially if you're kind of doing profile side profiles on them. Alright, let's work on the donkey. You get a pop open a donkey reference. There we go. Alright, so the donkey's got they have their eyes. So the eyes look almost sort of sort of like almonds almost. They have a point and they have a little bit of a roundness to them. So the front's got a little point to it. And they don't run along the eye line to where the point is that way and it runs that way, almost like a human's eye would. They kind of have a slight angle, so it tilts up a little bit, almost like it, almost like it wants to point towards the ear, but just below the ears when you look at the way they 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 lay. So that's one one thing you want to look at for that. So and of course this side is going to be a little bit narrower because the way the head the, the way it's curving away. So, and then we'll don't, you've got the little white patches around the eyes. So you can just kind of lay them out and how they would be, how they would roll around. Like you could, you could picture that as being a ball. And so you wanted to see how it would wrap around on it. And of course. see how that kind of curls up too much or this has a nice curl to it well if this wraps around we actually don't want it to curl quite as much it's going to be more straight because it's going to be following the curvature of the of the actual eye so if, of the face around the eye so if we actually put it up straight that way you'll see now it starts to look a little bit more like it's actually going around that head and let's see here we're going to have the way this curls out we're going to have, we're going to want to probably do this and run it, this around for the nose so that way you can see the two little nostrils are going to go there and there. So, that way you have a good line for the way the nostrils are going to move around the, the front of the mouth. And we'll have, got to have a little harness for it. So the heart, that's the same reason why you, you map out the, the shape for it. So you can kind of curl it over. harness doesn't run flush it has a little bit of thickness to it so it goes over the top of where the actual snout is going to be so that runs down and of course he's got your his bite and his, his bite I think that's called a bite what is it's the bar that goes through the mouth so and of course we'll have the one nose there the one nostril there and then of course we want to put the other one like it's going around the corner of it and we'll 
here with a little curl. And look like where you can see that he's got the bite. Simple little thing for the mouth there. And we can clean up those construction lines now. Got that laid out. Give him a little. There we are. My girl got massively spoiled by everyone. Oh, he's in toy and treat heaven. Oh, and my mom actually went to Walmart and found they blow up Santa for a really good price on sale. So bought one. This one isn't bad or operated. She talked to me into waiting to put it in our neck. Uh, put it out next year. Oh, four foot tall Santa. That's cool. Did your dog? Did the dog one that we modified? Does that they got that guy work out well? And of course we gotta give his cheekbone like that. We don't. Have, his cheek was not gonna follow that perfect circle. It's gonna kind of go up a little bit the way the cheek, the jaw will go. So for the circle of the head, you want to bring that up a little bit corner. And then this will go to here, and this will be the rest of this cranium, the rest of the skull. And we got a little bit of hair up top, so we'll kind of, we're going to block in the hair. to where we get the idea the way we like it. And let's bring it around the back here as well. Yeah, like maybe down there. That'll work. And now we got his ear. Now his ear isn't going to quite look like a diamond. It's going to have some, cur some, some curvature to it. And drop it down. where you can see it actually goes to the head. And then we got a little bit of curl to where you can see inside the ear. All right. In that ear, you can see it. In this one, you're going to see more, you're going to see the back side of it. So the way this guy would curve out, curl, he's actually going to have, look like this. Or you can actually see the way the ear kind of curls, you know, it kind of has a little bit of a curl to it, to where when you look at it from this way and that way, you'll see how it, it, it rolls around. So we'll have, and of course, a little bony part up top. There we go. And you're not going to be able to see the inside because it's the back side with the fur. Oh yeah, it's working great. My dad used electrical tape instead of the plastic bag because it plugged in. It's plugged in. I can keep it out even when it's windy. I don't have him look, hooked to the timer though because he can't really see it at night since it doesn't light up. So I plug him in the outlet during the day. So what you did to get him working on powering up? I she was impressed. Ah, we just happened to have a, a power supply that matched up to it, which was great. I got that's why I always save power supplies, and I'm glad he's been working. He's working out great for you. Hmm. However, we could. Could <laughs> add in an LED, an LED light inside that that belly piece that he has. I don't know how well it would light him up. We'd have to test it out. <laughs> but that could be something we could play with next year. Let's see if we can put a couple of power put some powered LED lights in there. And then he'll light up at night. We just got to see where we got to put him in there. So his hair, as for the fur on top of his, their head or the hair on top of their head, uh, it's not nothing really dramatic. Just like a couple little little jagged lines almost sort of like Calvin and Hobbes was and uh that you'll stay see it just a couple little you know you just basically what you're doing is just showing that he's got a little bit of scruff to it like that so the rest of it will be in the color because you'll do use different colors of brown and stuff to kind of show that it's got some body into it when you color it for depth but as for the sketch area on it like I said it's very simple Lighten that up so we can bring him in. And we got that little hair. So now we can let's make this line a little bit better. We'll clean up the part of his head to 
where it kind of comes out. Got the little quill down there. We'll show a little bit of his eye that comes out. Let's clean up the lines around the eye so that way it looks better. Got that almond shape. Give him little eyelashes too. Make it a girl donkey. Eyes, they're like gla they're like they're like marbles. They have a little bit of glass reflection. But we can give this one little little eyebrow eyelashes too. Give it just a little bit of childlike life to it. Give it a little eyelashes. It gives that little that cute feel. Everybody doing all right so far? Everybody keeping up who is drawing? If you do draw, make sure you send me a picture of it also so I can, you know, I'll post it on, uh, on next week's show. Where I'll put it on the, in a photo viewer and I'll have it showing that we can, everybody can show off the work. So, just bring that neck that way. You can't just ride their back, so we'll have to put a uh, put a blankie on them. down the side of them. And we want to make sure that the donkey doesn't it doesn't look too buff. Because <laughs> then we don't have to have really that strong a donkey. So we're gonna give a little bit of a curl to it. And they got a little bit of a soft fluffiness up here, so we'll do the same thing sort of like we did there where you just kinda give it a little bit of a fluff to it on the bottom. Mapping out a simple muscle structure for the donkey. We're keeping it simplified. Don't have to go crazy with it. Don't have to show all the muscular striations on it. Just a little, a little area where it can plot. It gives the implication of the uh, of where of that, that it's a leg and it's it, it's proper movement of it. piece there. Do the little swatchy, the little jaggedy lines, little cuts to where it looks like. Got the fur going over the hoof. Clean this lines up too. It's supposed to be simple. They, they look amazing on my, ma on my Magic 1 6 in a row before they lost and then they went a couple more. Won 8 of their last 9. Really cool. Got some, some more. Got, oh, we got some more of the hurt players back. Still a few good ones hurt that hopefully will be back soon. 
They beat the best team twice in back-to-back -back games, the Baltons, Boston Celtics. Oh, that's awesome. They're getting some... Finally getting a little bit of steam going. so you're going to see a little bit of the back part of the way the joint is there that's for the part of the hoof. So, and of course, we're going to have the back part of the top part. It's going to be like that. This is the part of the blanket that she marries on. diamond for the tail. And we can actually probably roll that a little bit. I'll get a little donkey tail. It helps when they have their best players playing. Hard to play well with half the team hurt. Not going to believe that. Jeez. quarter shot of the hoof to where you're not just seeing roundness it kind of runs off to the seven just look the Lakers are killing them right now by 16 but only in the second quarter the Lakers are just a half game better than the Magic so not a great team ah huh. well, let's see what happens on that one <laughs> hopefully we'll get another win for the Magic so. all right got one more leg to do Let's see, so the way that one runs in, the back part of this leg, because you're going to see a lot of it, the way the fur runs on a donkey, it's kind of soft too on the back, so you can kind of do that, the same little jaggedy things where you can see that it's got a little bit of dishevelment there, and we want to run that to the front part, basically the knee, the knee part of their leg. Mechanical pencil is Derwent Precision. It's just like any other mechanical pencil except it's metal. So that's about it. But you can get the same thing out of a nice cheap one. You don't have to worry. You have to make it metal. You can still do drawings just as good with simple stuff. Hopefully they can come back. I'll be back soon. Going to take a shower and fix some hot cocoa. Probably the best thing for group. I have to have something to warm me up after a shower. Sounds good, brother. We'll see you in a bit. Now, let's work on Joseph. Get some of that excess down here. And so we don't rub Mary up, we'll put the piece of scrap paper over the top. Now, Joseph. Joseph has a little, I guess you could call it, a, it's not really a turban. I can't remember what they call those, but we gotta, let's go ahead and get him laid out. He's not gonna really have eyebrows. Oops. Might have to, might be time for me to put some new lead in, but we're gonna circles for his eyes. Give him his little 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 half moons on the top for his eyelids. And instead we're gonna give him a little wedge at the front of the eye so that way it kinda has a little curl to it. Let's see. Yep, that guy's about done. Do I got another piece in there or do I need to put another piece in? Probably need to put another piece in. 
Yep. Okay, so let me put another piece in. This is all it is. It's a little pentel. Half millimeter. Nothing crazy. as well because there's the mouth so we'll have a little bit of a cheek area where some of the other like like in other type of art styles and stuff the cheek usually they runs up a little bit higher up in children's illustration it runs a little bit lower because it looks a little bit softer like I said everything's more soft to it so flat. That way you can see just to kind of the bottom of the nose. Doesn't require anything too crazy. Actually what we'll probably do is we'll probably give, let me uh, try it this way. Sometimes you can do it the other way. Yeah, we'll do it this way because the way his, his face is pointing, we'll give him sort of like an upside down smile, upside like a frowny face. So what we'll do and then we'll give him his little, give him a little smile. Eyebrows, like a, like little other more lines of eyebrows up here a little bit. They have a tendency to put eyebrows on the child. The children illustrations eyebrows are usually a little bit higher up than which you would usually be accustomed to having on a person. Almost like they have a sort of like a surprised feel. And let's. He's gonna have a little more of a pronounced cheek when it comes down because he's a boy. Focusing back in again. Good. And of course, we'll probably we'll redo his ear. Clean up some of that excess there. Let's see. Now, Joseph has the long robe also and stuff. He's got a, like a cloth belt. And he's got his kind of kind of hat instead of a shawl. It's more like a, little, like a loose hat. That's going to sit as also. So this will be the hairline. Right. And of course, the way the head's going to be. Because you don't want the hat to look like it's crushing the head. You want it to look like it's laying on top of the head like it's supposed to. following the skull so we 
to get rid of this part of the cranium because it's going over it. And what we'll do is we will where the ear is and it comes to here because he's going to have that like little flap that runs off the back of it as well. around your head. out of it. some of the shoulder lines because we don't need those really much anymore because we already got the shape that we want to show underneath the clothing his shoulders. So let me get rid of that the elbow joint because we've already mapped it out. And so we know that that's the way that we're, that's going to wrist is going to be and the way the hand's going to run. So got a little thumb area. Sausages for fingers. Very simple. That's what we'll do. We'll clean that up in a moment. And of course, he's got the lower part of his ear here. Get rid of this part so that way you can get a better idea of how that's, that's going to curl around. So you can see his ear. This guy is going to curl here. 
tassel piece, or the rope piece that holds it around. Oops, I get my head in the way of the camera more than I probably Notice the first thing that was that's a little bit bad about this is Mary's head's a little bit larger than than Joseph's. So as you can see. So we can do two different things with that. We can either shrink the head down or we can make his a little bit bigger. I'll probably end up going back and we'll probably lower, make this a little bit smaller for her head and we'll give a little bit more of the shawl to drape it, is what we'll do. So we'll bring these in. That's what I've been looking at that was bothering me. So so I'm getting him back together. And we'll probably right there. His arm is going to be just slightly elevated. Not really too high. From there, maybe up a little bit higher. That looks a little bit better. Clean that portion up. What we're going to have here is going to be a tension point. So we're going to have a cloth that way, and the way the cloth is going to drape back from this side as well. So we'll have a little tension area where these will have a creases and stuff. Where the tension will come down. This will should roll to there. But we're going to have being it's going to be a long cloak. It's going to kind of go like that. It's going to roll on up so that way it matches that. Alright, so we can get rid of the rest of this. got his shape of his the way his body's running so this runs down we're going to want to give him his uh, he's got like a wrap that runs down his lower part of his abdomen so we're going to give him that we're not going to make him where he looks like he's anorexic because the way it runs down to his hips his robe's going to run that way so we're not going to make it look like it's a skin tight robe there we go give you the uh, some more dimension and shape to it and being his abdomen down here above his because his waist is there so it's going to have it like mid abdomen so the curl the curve of his torso is going to be in there and you're probably not going to see all of it this is going to be a little bit this is going to be much less of a dramatic curl the way that the position of the person is we're not going to see most of this because we're going to have his, like his uh, 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 outer robes is going to be over it. So we want to do a slight curl here to where it looks like it's going over his shoulder and around the front of his, of his torso. We're going to run it towards it's down that way. And of course we'll have it from here as well. So we want to do a nice line, a nice swoop. Nice, good curl to it, towards nice and smooth, and it kind of billows out a little bit. So. so, as you can see, most of this we're not going to use right here, but it needed to be there so that way you know where to start and where to end with it, so that way it drapes correctly. We're going to have a little bit of gap here, so we're going to gap's going to be this way because it's way it's partly away from us it's not going to be so close tight or not going to have such a broadness it's going to be much more narrow so we'll do this one and we'll give this one a little bit of a, of a billowing effect too Up that 
portion too. There we are. And now, that little curve and that little area that we have in the center there that was for his, his fabric belt feels like it actually is wrapping around him correctly now. And of course from here you can basically picture this running down and draping out the way it's going to billow out. So do it that way and then you'll have a weight of it that comes from back here that'll run out as well. So the way that this one will run because you got to give it layers where it looks like it's actually billowing correctly like or it's actually blooming. Billowing is a good word for it but this guy further back. There we go. Much better. Get rid of that portion of the hip. Don't need to see that no more. Run this one in. And we'll run this one down as well. So you can see. Get an idea. And let's roll this up. Got this guy, the, the outer overlap. And then from there, we'll have another billowing piece that shows it going around further and it will connect up to there from behind behind his arm. This one will run down, this guy will run through here, so you'll have a line that runs that way. And then you can clean up in the, this portion here, that way you can just see how it has a curl and the way it would actually overlap. Right. And of course this will have a little, a little ruffle. The way it kind of bunches up down here at this corner, the way he's got his arm extended out. He's not exactly bucking or anything, so the rope is nice and soft or loose. And we'll have that that kind of runs through the bite. So it's not like it has a lot of tension on it, it's more just there. Right. You're going to do Baby Jesus in the manger next? You're welcome. Oh. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe. Maybe we can hit that. Now we got to give him his uh, the bottom part of his robes for his pants and stuff is what we need to do. Also, we need to finish the arm and whatnot. But for right now, we're going to hit this. Here's a fun one: Batman being pestered by Superman and Wonder Woman trying to lighten the mood. Oh, Ally, oh, how you doing? I hope you had a good Christmas. Batman being pestered by Superman and Wonder Woman trying to lighten the mood. That's a challenge. I have to think about that one. Put that down here on the notes on the side. Batman and Superman and Superman. Batman pestering Superman. Hmm. Wonder Woman trying to work. Let's see. Wonder Woman trying to lighten the mood. I have to think about that one. No, that one's that one's gonna be interesting. I have to figure out what we'd be pestering him about. Well, cool. I hope you had a good Christmas, Ali. I hope everything's going well with you. And I got that on my list of things. We'll see if I can come up with something neat with that. 
Alright, let's see here. So we got to do the cloth, so let's go ahead and lighten some of these construction lines that we have here. We'll keep a little bit of it lightly on there. You're not totally erasing it, you're just kind of getting some of it cleaned up a bit so that way you can still see how it lays out and we want to how we want to do the cloak the way it runs back. So we're gonna have the cloak to where it kind of runs up his leg but his hip the way it comes down so it's gonna kind of have a little bit of a roll to it and then it kind of it's gonna push pull back through the leg because the other legs back here but it's not really catching over here so we're just gonna kind of do that and then his hip came back over here so we're gonna just kind of run that up and that should get that guy laid out and what we'll do is we will for this we'll run this up to where you can see some of the way it's going to the way it rolls across or the way it's twisting, the way his body, his hip, his, your way your hips twist, and when the leg moves forward. So, just to show a little bit of movement to it. That sounds like a good one too. Yeah, that that Batman, um, Superman, and Wonder Woman. That might be interesting. Let's see if we can come up with that. There we go. give the way this rolls up. I might just see a little bit of it there. Alright. Now let's we got that portion out a lot so far. Let's uh, work on his hand here a little bit. Let's see. His hand's gonna be more his hand's gonna be more like that way. So we need to do This hand is going to be one finger, two fingers, three fingers, and then the fourth finger usually sticks out a little bit further away from the rest. So we'll probably do it that way. Bring it up and around. Like I said, it's kids. It's children. It's a children's illustration, so it's very simplistic. So we'll do that. A little simpler, like the thumb holding on to the cane. You'll have the inner portion of the thumb. And then let's kind of get this walking cane laying out. It's a nice little wood wood walking stick, or walking cane, whatever you want to call it. And we already kind of have a basic mapping of it, so we'll kind of make it where it looks like he's holding the thing. There you go. So, like so far, like I said, we got to do, we just got to shrink her head down a little bit, so that way the, the proportions match correctly uh, for everybody else to it. So, don't have to have perfect anatomy, but you want it to be somewhat right. So, we'll clean up some of the lines for his shoes. Being he's the one walking, we're going to give him little sandals too. So, we want to map the actual weight of his, of his foot. So, we'll give it a little bit of a curve for there. And we'll have his heel like that. And we want to do two bigger two just like so and then you have your little curved piece there and it shows like it's actually being held in by this sandal and of course we got to give him a sandal bottom because it look kind of funny if he just had a strap and just the ground so we've got to give him a little bit of a sandal bottom you know it doesn't have to be anything too too spectacular just simplistic most of this like I said will be with the color Basically, the way he's the way he walks, you don't walk straight like that. You're not like a robot, so you kind of when you walk, your feet kind of stick out a little bit to each side, and they don't always aren't don't always completely flat. They kind of have a little bit of a curve to them. So, I'm trying to work that piece to it, and we'll still have his his cur his little piece in here. And you gotta have a strap. Let's see if we can do it that way clean up some of these lines a little bit more. Right, we got it roughed in. And we'll that way. Get the sandal there. Give him a 
plus two. Another two. So we get a little bit of dimension to it. now fits a little bit better with that. <laughs> Just a simple little correction on it. You want to keep the proper area for the eyes. So, all right, got that. And of course, we did like the, this little path. We can probably, I don't know, maybe we'll give this a little bit of a difference. Like that, path there. Not everything is historically accurate also with this. Oh, somebody sent me pictures. Let's see. Oh. Now that one came out really good. I'll have to, sh I will show, post that. That'll be on, on Thursdays because I'll, I'll show this one and I'll show some of the other people's. But thank you for sending that picture and Crazy Quilter. Yep, so not bad little sketch area for that. Um, you'll notice that with some of, with children's illustration, not everything's like historically accurate because obviously they went out into the desert and across the way to get to the, you know, they traveled through a majority of area that was desert. So there wasn't much foliage or grass and stuff that you'd see on there. But a lot of times you'll see different pictures that have this depicted with that on it. And it's more just because it's appeasing to the eye and whatnot. It's nothing bad. But like I said, children's illustrations are simplistic and they have that soft appeal of enjoyment to it. And something that's comfortable. So and it's really good that way. But you did a good job on your piece, Crazy Quilter. I'll post it on Thursday's stream along with this one so we can see everybody's work that we did work drawing along with it. So let's give them just a, do some little lines here just to kind of give it a little extra. That way you can kind of get an idea that he's got an, an outer coat or an outer robe. Is there four legs on donkey? Yeah, there is. There is four legs on the donkey. So what we need to do is we need to probably, because this leg is actually going to be, t is, is these legs are in the way it moves and then this leg is out, so this leg is out. So you might see maybe a little, a little shadow you might see. Let's see the hip. You might see a shadow of it back in here. And maybe back here, the way the donk, the angle that we have it at. Because that leg it's gonna be pointing further back. So it's almost like it's out of out of the picture on it. So but we could probably Well, we could probably actually put it. Yeah, you actually really won't see much of it because it'll probably be right in, in here, the way it runs, to, because the way the hip is here, it'll be this way and it'll be pointed back because this is extended. So, missing a leg on donkey. But yeah, no, that's basically how it is. That's because it's mostly hidden. You'll have just like a tiny bit of it seen. So, all right. That one's not too bad. We got 30 minutes left. Well, let's see here. This one out. That one came out pretty decently. And like I said, we did a little minor correction on it. But that's children's illustration type type style for that. We can. Um, what 
we can do is we've got some time left. We can play, go back to this one that we were doing as a warm-up. And we'll play with this one as well. And see what we can come up with what we got. Came out great. Thank you, Brian. So let's see if we can. Let's see, somebody sent me another message. See if we can do this one. The 30 minutes we got left. Let's see if I can jam this one out. jammed out in a half hour. <laughs> I'd have to manually set the focus for this length, but I think I might do. That way it doesn't see my hand and think it's gonna. I'm gonna try and just focus on whatever gets it. As we're getting closer and pushing and pulling. Let's see.
children's illustrations aren't sharp or soft. Magic have cut the lead in half to eight in the middle of the third quarter. Comeback is on. Oh, that's awesome. Let me close this portion here. All right. That's very cool. clock challenge. Don't need to be too big. Yes, it is. Yeah. Get some magic winning there. be able to get this jammed out. Let's see here. Do the leg this way. I want to hit the leg that way. And let's run the leg here. I might actually pull up my uh, uh, cotillion or rub pencil or whatever it's, what it's called sometimes. Put one of them down here by his ankle. So I'll do that over here too. Alright. So we got that. So we want to give this a little more of a stretch. Oh. 
I like the other characters with relatively dark and depressing premises being bothered by relatively cheerful characters trying to lighten the mood for their to their annoyance. <laughs> have some have some positivity. Yeah, it's always nice to cheer up something that's usually dark. Try to make it brighter. Yeah. But yep, nope, I got it on my my page a piece of paper. We'll have to see if maybe we come up with something neat for that be for this live stream because we won't have enough time but maybe next live stream if not we can add it to the beginning of the year for it because I do have another one that was um, a request for doing a new year sketch for a uh, what was it uh, my oh the, my, the anime manga my dress up darling they want to do it like a happy new year design for Thursdays or wanted me to come up with one for that so I'll see what I can come up with, but we'll put it on the list, Allie, definitely. I hope I'm saying that right. Now, you haven't told me yet if it's Allie or if it's Ali. So, if I'm saying it right, or if I'm not saying it right, please correct me. So, because I don't want to... I want to make sure I'm doing it correctly for you. Alright. Let's see. Don't forget... Make sure you like like for this live stream and subscribe also so you can see when I'm coming back on or when I post other videos and stuff. So some of the other time lapses of artwork that I haven't that wasn't done on the live stream. Alright. Got a little Christmas guy. Not bad. The little five minute sketch of him and then finished him up for the last half hour. We got that one. We got this one we did for uh, children's style illustration stuff. Let me zoom this out. Oli, okay, perfect. I will try and make sure I have it set up, that I do it correctly that way. I have to zoom this back out. But that's what we worked on this for today. Not bad for a little stuff for trying to learn children's illustration type drawing. It's very simplistic. You can have it's always bright, soft, and like I said, I'll show you. I uh, got a little more progress on my Luna picture. Uh, this is one that I did with my daughter. This is, uh, I think her name is Wiz from Konosuba. But she liked the color, the purples and stuff, so we were working on that with the colored pencil and whatnot. So, alright. Well, we got 15 minutes left, but uh, we'll have to do some checking on that for coming up with some neat ideas for the Batman and uh, the Superman thing as well. And I gotta do some research on that, uh, that my dress up darling, the characters that are used in that animated stuff. So, anyhow, let me close that piece up. So, I hope you guys like my little New Year's stream piece. Those are awesome. I love seeing your pictures in person. Looks even more incredible. Oh, thank you, Brian. I really do appreciate that. Kind of did a little New Year's Eve overlay for the for today and for Thursday, and then we'll have to come up with something in 2023. We'll have to. If you guys got some ideas that would be pretty neat for it, send me a message, drop me a line, and I'll see if we can come up with a neat overlay, at least for the beginning of the year. So, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me. We'll see you Thursday, please, and we will work on one of the other requests and stuff. And if you guys want to know how something is drawn or whatnot, or how we can break down to something for that or a piece, we'll work on it together. You're welcome. I hope the fireworks aren't too loud and don't scare McGraw. Catch you Thursday. All right, Brian, I'll catch you Thursday too. But anyway, guys, 
You have yourselves a great night, great Wednesday, and we'll see you guys back here on Thursday. If you follow my Facebook and Instagram stuff, you'll see my aircraft stuff that I work on during the day as well, uh, as long, well along with all this stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll be putting in some 3D printer stuff that you guys will be able to see some project progress on that because I'll start working, um, I'm going to try and start working some things on Blender to where you can see how I, how I do some 3D modeling and stuff from there that we'll eventually put over to, uh, to the 3D printers and do G-code and whatnot for that. And make some really neat stuff and try and get a little creative with, more, with other things as well. But anyway, have a good night. God bless everyone. And if I don't see you on Thursday, have a happy new year, and we'll see you afterwards. And don't forget, let's create something together. Take care now.